All right, so now Sammy and I are going to be creating waves in the slinky at the same time. Ready, Sam? Three, two, one, go. All right, so we want to focus on what happens to the waves when they overlap. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, so what's different about the waves at the moment they overlap? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you should have seen that the amplitude of the wave is larger when they overlap. This is known as interference, another one of the defining properties of waves. This is specifically called constructive interference because they're constructing, making a larger wave. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, now watch what happens after they pass through. So Sam is going to create a very large wave. I'm going to create a relatively smaller wave. Watch what happens after they, after they combine in the middle. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, you should be able to see that her large wave ends up over here, and my small wave ends up over there. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right? So after they meet and combine, what do they do? They actually pass through each other. This is interference. When waves meet, combine, and pass through each other as if nothing ever happened. And since waves are energy, they can do this. Same as creating a large wave with a lot of energy, it's going to get over to me. I'm creating a small wave with a small amount of energy, it's going to get over to her. Ready? Three, two, one, go. You can see they pass through each other. Now, same is going to keep doing what she's doing, but I'm going to switch my wave over to the other side. It's a little bit tough, but see if you can watch what happens at the moment they overlap. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it might be tough to see there, but what do you think happens to the amplitude at the moment they overlap? Right, they're going to somewhat, somewhat cancel each other out. This is known as destructive interference. This is when the waves combine, but they make a smaller amplitude, as opposed to constructive, when they make a larger amplitude. Now watch carefully to see what side of the wave. So Sammy's creating her waves on this side of the slinky. I'm creating my waves on this side of the slinky. Watch what happens after they combine. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Right, you should be able to see, again, they pass right through each other. Three, two, one, go. So again, in interference, the waves meet, combine, and pass through each other as if nothing happened.